Welcome to Bite Size Data Science. In the last video, video 41, we talked about OpenCV and its origin. We also saw how OpenCV can be used to detect objects. There is a lot more that OpenCV can do. In this short video, we see how we can do foreground extraction. How can we go from this image to one without the background like this one? Let's get into a notebook and see how it can be done. I am using the IBM Watson Studio environment to run my notebook. If you are interested, you can find a link in the description on how to create a free account on that platform. Links to the notebook I am using here are also available in the description. We are starting the same way as last time by installing the OpenCV library and reading an image. This time, the image is one from the beginning of one of my videos. For processing in the neural network, the image dimensions have to be a multiple of 32. The width of the image is 864, which is 27 times 32, and the height is 480, which is 15 times 32. We saw in the previous video how to do object recognition. I'm doing it here to help in eliminating the background. Let me explain. We can go through the same process of loading the model configuration and weights and then process the image to extract the objects. The only object detected is a person as we can see here. The object detection gave me an area of the picture where the person is, as we can see in the before and after picture. This red rectangle allows me to define the area that is to be processed and ignore everything else. Now you may think, here comes the hard part. Not really. The OpenCV library provides a method called grabcut that does all the work. The method takes an image and a few additional parameters including the rectangle I mentioned earlier. It returns an image mask that we can then use to extract the detected foreground image. We can now display the original image and the one with the foreground extracted. We can see a few letters around the periphery of our image, but it actually did a pretty good job. In this video, we did a quick review of object detection with OpenCV and added the ability to extract a foreground image. That should give you another reason to investigate the capabilities of the OpenCV library. See you next time on Bite Size Data Science, and don't forget to subscribe.